What's going on everybody? So today we are going to be learning how to create a toggle button that's going to toggle between booleans using React State. And the project we want to do is a simple toggle button right here that will toggle between two different spans. Without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so for the setup of the application, it's going to be very simple. What first we're going to do is create a React app. So npx create React app and I'll call it toggle button. All right, so once you're done installing the application, there's a link in the description for Ant Design. What I want you to go is go ahead and copy that and npmi it. So it'll be simple npmi ant d. And once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and start up the application. And once that is started, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the source folder and clear out most of this content right in here. And make this a little bit smaller. There we go. I'm gonna get rid of all of the items in the header and I will do, I'll leave the function but I'll do ES6 syntax so it'll be const, oops, const, ah, const app is equal to curly brace and do one of those, just my bad, do some of that. I'll just do an h3 that says hello, get rid of this of this and I will import also use state even though we're not going to use it in this clip so wait for the application to start up and we got hello working perfect all right so now what I'm going to do is go into the index.js file and I want to import this piece of code. Basically, this is going to import and design CSS, save it, and I'll also import right here, import switch from and D. Save that. And let's get rid of this H3 and I'll just do switch here, S W I T C H. Save it. And now wait for it to render. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. You're taking too long. All right, so I just had to reset the application. For some reason it crashed, don't know why. But now we have the toggle button loading and I'm also um, zoomed in like 300% just so you can see it. All right, so for our first and only use state variable that we need, I'm going to do const toggle and set toggle. And I'm gonna set that equal to false because originally whenever you start the application it'll always be um, inactive like that all right so now that we've done that we're going to create a function that is going to be responsible for toggling between true and false booleans so it'll be const uh, toggler not a good name but just for demonstration purposes I did that and I'll do toggle which is our variable name right here question mark so ternary operator set toggle to false or set it to true and save that make sure nothing breaks because it shouldn't break as long as we didn't apply it cool all right so I'm going to apply the toggler function to the switch right here so on click is equal to toggler right there So now we set up the, everything that we need for our toggle button to work. We're just going to create our tyranny operator that says either you changed it or you didn't change it. So it's going to be really simple. Curly braces, I'm going to select this variable right here. So toggle, question mark. The first value, so span. I'm just going to do that so it doesn't bug out on me. There we go. And so our first value right here is going to be true. So I'm gonna do, well, darn it, you changed me. And right here, which is our gonna be false value, when we uh, load the application, it's always false, so it'll always start off with this app, with this, uh, this band right here, and I'll do, wow, still the same old, same old. Save it, and now if we see it, we should have, wow, still the same old, same old. We're getting a little tired of that, so we can toggle that and change it. Well, darn it, you changed me. Darn it. And 
That concludes the application. So now you can toggle between spans, divs, images, whatever the hell you want. Just be able to, you just have to replace the text or whatever you want right in here, true or false. Cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.